Get ready for this one. Um, do you identify as black? <laughs> no, it's a serious question, because you might not identify. Nah, he identifies as a purple Teletubby. And by the look of his face, he identifies you as a moron. Can you please put the mic? Thank you. Okay. Uh, when I walked into, not, when I walked into the room, when I'm I walked not into the room. I'm with my question. <laughs> And now he identifies you as a candidate for Prozac. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, young lady, you young lady. I'm just asking you to listen to me. Okay. Yeah, I'm black. What's happening to these kids? Uh, quick point of privilege. Quick point um, of personal privilege. Yes. Um, guys, uh, first of all, James Jackson, Sacramento, he, him. I just want to say, can we please keep the chatter to a minimum? I'm one of the people who's very, very prone to sensory overload. There's a lot of whispering and chatter going on. It's making it very difficult for me to focus. Please, can we just, I know it's, we're all fresh and ready to go, but can we please just keep the chatter to a minimum? It's affecting my ability to focus. Thank you. Oh, okay. Yeah. And how about we keep the idiocracy to a minimum? I'm one of those people who are prone to stupidity overload from people who think the world revolves around them. Say, so do you mind just, I don't know, squeezing your neck until you pass out so I don't have to hear you again? Thanks. Thank you, comrade. Okay, is there a speaker against name, point chapter, of pronoun? Privilege. Point of personal privilege. Yes. Please do not use gendered language to, to address everyone. Oh, God, dude, we can hear your weight problem. Please do not use gendered language to... C the hell was that noise? To c Guys choking on a milkshake. To address everyone. Yeah, how about you stop addressing the drive through window for once in your life? Hi, James Jackson, Sacramento DSA, he, him. I have already asked people to be mindful of the chatter of their comrades who are sensitive to sensory overload. Ah, jeez, not this guy again. Where's Stone Cold Steve Austin when you need him? And that goes double for the heckling and the hissing. It is also triggering to my anxiety. Like, the be comradely doesn't ju isn't just for, like, you know, let's keep things civil or whatever. It's so that people aren't going to get triggered and so that it doesn't affect their performance as a delegate, okay? Okay, so get the fuck out of here and go home. I mean, what do you want everyone to do? Play telephone and whisper into a cup because you didn't bring your earmuffs? Jesus, dude, they sell headgear for that shit. Then you got this poor girl, looking like she's asking herself why her ancestors even emigrated here. Your need to express yourself is important, but your need to express yourself should not trump or over... Do we need to ask your permission to clap too? The world's not just going to stop everything and cater to your demands. A university in the UK is replacing clapping with jazz hands at the <laughs> student union because the noise of applause could make some students anxious. Oh yeah, I forgot. It's 2021. It will. I see that no one's clapping for me. It could be because I'm not engaging, but it also is because everyone's doing this, and that's really important. What are these kids? Imagine if we had a military draft. We'd be fucked. Our enemy wouldn't even need weapons. Forget throwing grenades. All they'd have to do is throw insults. These kids would just be running around the battlefield looking for the report for abusive content button. Take a deep breath. And feel better before you say anything. And just think, these kids will be eligible for political office soon. We have quiet rooms that are available. There's a range of options of these, right? Please don't go in that space with anything that's like an aggressive scent. God, if you're listening, could you please step in soon? Thanks. Please do not use gendered language to, c to address everyone.